Hi, I'm Ahmed Aves, uh, coach and founder of Agile 7. It's been a while since I posted, um, having some health issues um, and you know, my, my, my habits of working long hours and I do have a herniation of neck and it's just returned uh, with the back and shoulder pain. Um, but you know, uh, I need to remind myself to stay healthy and you know, not work my butt off because we should always find balance. Um, so I wanted to share something important to you uh, with you. It's called chronobiology, and you know, not that um, you have to believe in everything that's coming out of chronobiology, but it's, a, it's an emerging science that is worth looking into, and there's a lot of good stuff in there. I recently uh, read a book uh, called When the Science of Timing by Dan Pink, and it kind of returned me to some of the experiments that I started, some of them I started 20 years ago. So I'm bringing those experiments back and seeing how that uh, how they respond to. I may have an update for you later on. So um, one of the experiments I'm doing is not having coffee first in the morning because what I'm finding is that I built a uh, resistance to coffee and by coffee intake has been increasing ever since we bought Nespresso coffee machine and then we've been making a lot of coffee at home um, but you know increasing coffee intake is not giving me the value anymore um, so I'm I'm experimenting it's only a few days in um, but you know I'm looking forward to it so the idea is that the body as you wake up at the circadian rhythms as you see sunlight as your body responds to wake up um, your coffee intake first thing in the morning will interrupt that cycle so it's always best to hold on an hour 90 minutes before you take your first coffee cup. Um, the second thing is this thing called uh, the mid-afternoon nap or siesta, the sixth hour nap. Um, and in my tradition, we used to call it kailula, or we not used to, I mean, it's an Islamic tradition, it's kailula, which is a power nap that actually gives you a second, uh, second peak of performance. And um, the way to do it, there's a wrong way to do it, to sleep for 30, 40 minutes, that's the wrong way to do it. And the right way to do it is to do it for 15 minutes or up to 20 minutes not more than that one of my friends um, he's a pathologist and I, I knew from him that way way back and he's he's achieved amazing things in his life and he used to go to his car and just nap for 10 15 minutes and man this day did feel like you know he he was packing two days in one uh, so for sure these things work and i am uh, i'm actually committed to doing this experiment on myself i'm doing the way dan pink prefers recommends which is uh coffee <laughs> We know if it's a coffee nap, which is you take a coffee and then you uh, you close your eyes, such that you take a nap for 15 minutes and you wake back up because, or you get up because the coffee will kick, will have a slow uh, kick in process. So um, again, I'm just a few days in. I'm curious uh, to how that will go on, but I recommend that you kind of take on some experiments and let them run for a little bit and see if it's giving the value or not. Um, it's always important to see what's, what's true and useful and apply them in your life. Not for academic discussions, but for more for hey, how can we improve our own um, lives, our own ability, our own agility. And you know, me taking a walk uh, outside is also one of the things that I'm committed to. And these are the things I teach. And these are the things I apply on myself. So that is all. Uh, look up chronobiology, learn a little bit more about it. Try to learn about what you can do and not just what, when you should do things. So that is all for me. Have a wonderful day and um, see you on the other side. Bye-bye.